NASA says its Voyager 1 probe, the most distant human-made object in the universe. It's been over 45 years since the Voyager spacecraft launched. Voyager 1 just confirmed what we all feared with a shocking discovery, and the implications stretch far beyond the faint signals we've been receiving from the edge of our solar system. For decades, that battered spacecraft has drifted through interstellar space, sending back fragments of data that hinted at extraordinary phenomena. Now, with its latest readings, it has unveiled an interstellar breach of unprecedented proportions, a rapidly expanding plasma bubble, energized by cosmic rays so intense they threaten to reshape our understanding of the the boundary between solar influence and the galactic void. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. As Voyager 1's instruments detected the surge, mission scientists watched in stunned silence. The spacecraft's plasma wave subsystem recorded oscillations that surged past any values previously cataloged, marking the arrival of a colossal shock front barreling through the heliosphere. This shock is not merely a ripple in the cosmic pond, it is a wall of high-energy particles and magnetic turbulence, pushing outward from some hidden event in deep space. The discovery confirms a long-suspected danger, that events beyond our solar system can send destructive waves hurtling toward us, carrying the potential to wreak havoc on planetary environments sheltered beneath the sun's protective bubble. The data reveal that this structure is not a stable phenomenon. It is racing outward at a velocity measured in hundreds of kilometers per second, dwarfing the relatively sedate expansion of solar wind. Voyager 1, now over 40 years into its mission and traversing a region billions of miles from Earth, serves as our lone sentinel against these cosmic storms. Its readings suggest that the shockwave's leading edge has already carved through the heliopause, the boundary where the solar wind gives way to the interstellar medium, and is pressing into the very outskirts of the solar bubble. This is more than an academic curiosity. It is a direct message that the shield we believed rendered us safe may be far more permeable than imagined. The revelation carries profound implications for space exploration. Every spacecraft venturing beyond the protective reach of Earth's magnetosphere would need to contend with these shock-driven surges of radiation and high-energy particles. Missions to Mars, asteroids, or the outer planets must now incorporate hardened shielding and real-time monitoring systems to safeguard onboard electronics and human crews. What once felt like a sterile void beyond the planets now emerges as a turbulent region, capable of unleashing bursts of charged particles with the potential to fry circuits and damage biological tissue. Engineers will have to rethink design paradigms, ensuring that spacecraft are more resilient against the capricious nature of interstellar space. Closer to home, the human imagination reels at the prospect of what this discovery means for life on Earth. While our planet enjoys the dual protections of its magnetic field and the solar wind's deflection of cosmic rays, a breach of the heliosphere could allow an unseen tide of high-energy particles to seep inward. Over extended periods, elevated cosmic radiation can influence cloud formation, alter atmospheric chemistry, and even affect surface-level radiation doses. Scientists must now examine whether past climate anomalies or unexplained spikes in cosmogenic isotopes might coincide with similar interstellar incursions. The shock detected by Voyager 1 could provide a template for interpreting geological and ice core records, linking extraterrestrial events to terrestrial climate shifts. The shock's origin remains shrouded in mystery. Some theorists point to a distant supernova remnant, its shockwave finally reaching our galactic neighborhood after centuries of travel. Others suggest an outburst from a magnetar or the collision of stellar winds within a nearby star-forming region. Whatever the source, the confirmation of such an interstellar phenomenon textured by Voyager 1 sensors proves that our galaxy is alive with dynamic and at times violent processes that extend beyond the traditional arenas of nebulae and black holes. Interstellar space is not an empty expanse, but a seething medium in constant flux shaped by the life cycles of stars. The pace at which this shock has traversed the heliosphere also offers clues to the density and structure of the local interstellar medium, LISM. Voyager 1's data indicate that the medium encountered is denser and more magnetized than earlier models predicted. Magnetic field strengths recorded show a twist and compression of lines, as though the wave is corralling the interstellar magnetic environment into a tighter sheath. 
This has repercussions for cosmic ray propagation models, which will need revision to account for regions of higher than expected density and magnetization. Our theoretical frameworks built on assumptions of homogeneity must adapt to a universe where pockets of turbulence can funnel and focus cosmic particles in bizarre ways. Beyond the scientific ramifications, the shock's unveiling has stirred philosophical and existential debates. Humanity has long clung to the notion that our solar system is a relatively serene corner of the Milky Way, buffered from the chaos of interstellar processes. Voyager 1's message challenges that complacency. If a supernova shockwave or other energetic event can ripple across light years to our doorstep, then the cosmos is not a placid backdrop, but a landscape woven from energy and violence. The boundary that defines our solar dominion is not an impermeable fortress, but a permeable membrane, vulnerable to the cosmic weather of our galaxy. The discovery also underscores the immeasurable value of long-duration missions. Voyager 1 was launched in 1977, a time when few could have imagined it would still function nearly half a century later, transmitting data from beyond the solar wind's reach. Its endurance has gifted us this critical warning. Without it, we would remain oblivious to the encroaching shock until it was upon us, possibly arriving with minimal early indicators. This insight pressures funding agencies and space agencies alike to prioritize projects that may not yield immediate returns, but could prove vital decades hence. The lesson is clear. Investments in cosmic exploration are bets placed on future generations' ability to interpret and respond to the universe's signals. The shock's detection must prompt an international dialogue on planetary defense, not merely against asteroids and comets, but also cosmic radiation and interstellar disturbances. Global cooperation will be essential to build and deploy a network of monitoring stations, both in orbit and on the lunar surface, capable of tracking the shock's progression in real time. Earth-based observatories, high-altitude balloons, and deep space probes could form a layered shield of early warning detectors. Such infrastructure would offer not just scientific insight, but practical lead time enabling us to adjust spacecraft trajectories and protect vulnerable satellites from the worst of the flux. As we contemplate the practical measures, the psychological weight of knowing that a cosmic shockwave is barreling toward us cannot be ignored. Throughout history, mankind has looked to the heavens for inspiration, not dread. The conviction that space represented freedom, opportunity, and the next frontier now mingles uneasily with the notion that cosmic forces could dramatically alter life on our planet. Artists and writers will undoubtedly wrestle with this new chapter, shaping cultural works that reflect our deepening awareness of a universe that can both give and take life in its indifferent vastness. Yet within this unsettling revelation lies the potential for unifying global cooperation. No single nation or corporation can stave off the effects of a galactic shockwave alone. The response must be collective, transcending political boundaries and economic rivalries. The shock challenges us to view Earth as a singular vessel in space, dependent on shared knowledge and resources to navigate an ocean of cosmic uncertainty. In this sense, Voyager 1's discovery could catalyze a renaissance of scientific diplomacy, where data flows freely and joint missions become the norm rather than the exception. Looking ahead, the shock's passage may open a new chapter in observational astrophysics. As the front continues to expand, it will interact with interstellar dust clouds, molecular filaments, and stray plasma clumps, generating emissions across the electromagnetic spectrum. Astronomers will train radio telescopes, X-ray observatories, and gamma-ray detectors to capture the glow of these interactions. Each observation will peel back layers of understanding about shock physics, particle acceleration, and the behavior of magnetic fields under extreme conditions. We stand on the threshold of deciphering processes that until now have remained confined to the remote hearts of supernova remnants and active galactic nuclei. Such studies could also shed light on the origin of cosmic rays themselves. By comparing data from Voyager 1 with Earth-based instruments tuned to cosmic ray detection, researchers can trace the energy spectra and arrival directions of particles. This might reveal whether interstellar shock waves serve as significant cosmic ray accelerators, contributing to the sea of high-energy particles that permeate our galaxy. Should this connection be confirmed, it would reshape theories about the Milky Way's ecology, illuminating the feedback loops between star death, shock propagation, and the cosmic radiation environment. 
Through Voyager 1's revelations, we arrive at a moment of reckoning. The spacecraft, itself a relic of a bygone era, has become our harbinger of interstellar realities. Its legacy transcends the golden record it carries, imprinting upon us a message far more vital, that even at the periphery of the solar bubble, we are not isolated from the cosmos's grand dramas. The shockwave unveiled by its instruments demands our attention, our ingenuity, and our resolve. We must channel our collective will to decode its secrets and fortify our world against the unseen forces that shape not just the distant reaches of space, but the fragile cradle of life on Earth. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on Voyager 1's shocking discovery? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.